My guest today shot to stardom exactly 10 years ago as one of the stars of High School Musical. She won a Broadway.com Audience Choice Award for her Broadway debut last year in Gigi, and she will be seen in Grease Live playing the iconic Rizzo on Fox. I'm thrilled to be sitting across from Vanessa Hudgens. Mm. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Broadway misses you already. I miss it. Do you? Do you miss it? So badly. <laughs> my last show, I laid starfish on the stage before they opened the house and just bawled my eyes Aww. out. Yeah. Just like trying to take in the theater. I was like, Neil Simon, you this were is... so good to me. Well, and what a big, beautiful set. And I mean, just everything uh, about that show Gigi. I adored. Gigi. 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 Craig Cott taught me how to like say it yeah, properly. Gigi. Gigi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but you are Riz. Oh my God. Okay. So I got to go. I'm so lucky. I got to actually go to the set last mm -hmm. week. Um, on the Warner Brothers lots in Hollywood. It was like such a Hollywood experience, I know. right? It's so surreal. You guys are doing Grease Live, and this is not anything like, you know, we've seen all these other live musicals on TV in the last yeah. few years. This is a whole different thing. Yeah, it's really exciting. I think what we're doing is so innovative and extremely ambitious. Yeah. I mean, the other live productions have been amazing and a lot of fun to watch, and it's it's awesome that the live musicals are making a comeback, but ours is different because we actually have sound stages. Yeah. We actually have a live audience. It's basically like you're watching a live movie. Right. Um, there's over 3,000 camera angles. Wow. Like It's crazy the amount of work that is going into all this for just one night. And you, you're moving from like sound stage to sound stage. Yeah. So you're literally going to be like driving on golf carts in between to like rush to the next set and there's going to be all kinds of movie magic. I got a little yes, bit of a peek. So a lot much of the, movie magic. A lot of the scenes... A lot of the scenes people love in the movie are actually going to be recreated in a totally. really cool way. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I, I'm so excited for it. I am too. I can't wait to finish it and then go home and watch it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, because I'm like, how are we going to pull this off? Right, yeah. Like, I want to see. I think if you guys pull do. it off, you're all going to be thought of as geniuses because it <laughs> seems so ambitious. Well, it goes to our director, Tommy. Who Tommy Kale. Is, yeah. Broadway's Tommy Kale. Yeah. I mean, he is a genius. Yeah. And he's like, Honestly, like one of the kindest, smartest, funniest people I've ever known, let yeah. alone worked with. Like and he has he great is, hair. Great hair. <laughs> but like his leadership skills, like he he leads in a way that I've never encountered before. Uh -huh. Like he's very, very special. This project not would not be the same without him. Hmm. It seems like you guys have all fallen in love with him. Oh my gosh. I, mean, <laughs> it's just I love him. <laughs> like I miss him. When I'm not with him, which is right now, you know, that's what You're I You're in mean. New York right now, I'm missing Tommy <laughs> Kale. Yeah. Um, so, Betty Rizzo. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I love saying her first name, because everyone just calls her Betty. Rizzo, but she's Betty. Yeah, uh, she's, she's Rizzo, 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 this is Tommy. like one of the greatest musical theater. I mean, come on, everybody wants to be Rizzo. I mean, this is the coolest chick ever on Broadway, right? Yeah, she's complicated. Yeah, she's, she's got a lot going on. Yeah, she's got a lot going on. I, it's so funny, because I always saw myself as Sandy. Uh-huh. Um, because, I mean, like, High School Musical, I was the good girl, you yeah. know? Like, yeah. I just think it's so funny how it's just come full circle in 10 years. Right. Well, like, you've, well, uh, but, but you've done a lot of... I've done a lot in between. You've done a lot of work on your sure. image over those years. Like, a lot of your movie projects. I mean, you've always done really ambitious, great work to, like, break out of that, right? Yeah, I, I mean, mean, like, for me, it's about longevity. So mm -hmm. I don't want to do things just to do them. Like, I want to be passionate about what I'm doing yeah. and... I, I want to do things that scare me because then I'll actually grow, you know? Yeah. So it's all part of the big picture. So what's scary about Rizzo? She's such an iconic part. Yeah. So iconic. And, and she's tough in a way where you don't see people like that very often. Like, she doesn't have a filter. She doesn't care what other people right. think. She's got a very hard exterior but a really tender, broken soul. Yeah. And she's not going to let you see that. Yeah. And you might see it for a glimpse of a second, but... Like You're going to see it when she sings that. When you get to sing that song, there are worse yeah. things I could do. Yeah. Oh, my God. That song is like... It's the best song ever. Yeah, it's it the is. Best the best song ever. <laughs> it's it's so my favorite simple, song to sing too. Yeah, exactly. But so much going on. Exactly, and it's just it feels good. You know, it's like you're you're telling a story, yeah. like an emotional story. 
while singing. It's like, yeah. it's just, it's so fun. And it's very effective, you know? Uh -huh. Like, I sang it at karaoke one night <laughs> because I don't do karaoke. Like recently? Yeah, like recently. While, while I've been in rehearsals, it was a friend's surprise birthday party. And um, there was karaoke, and I was like, I wonder if they were singing. <laughs> and then I sang it, and like, everyone's like huddled around, like, cheering. And I'm like, you can catch more on January 31st. <laughs> Plugging the show. Wow, you did like a, um, a public rehearsal. Yeah, you know, I'm like, <laughs> Karaoke kind of scares me. Like, I don't do this very often, especially for, like, worse things. Like, this is my professional job. Like, this yeah. is my yeah, job. Yeah. But, like, it scared, it scared me. But that's why I was like, I got to do it yeah. if it scares me. So did you, when you heard Grease Live was happening, did you, did they come to you? Did you immediately say, I want to play Rizzo? Like, how did this happen? They, they came to me and said, we're interested in you for Rizzo. Mm -hmm. And I was like... Are you sure? Like, you don't want me to be Sandy? Cause I, I'd be a great Sandy. <laughs> and then I thought about it and I was like, no, I need to be Rizzo. Like Rizzo's the best. Yeah, it's Rizzo's so much best. fun. And the more that I've been doing it, the more that I'm like, ah, the shoe fits, you mm -hmm. know? It just, it's a good, it's a good match. Can we talk about the hair? Because I love when the promo photos came out. I love you, Aaron and Julianne. I love those photos because I thought, oh my God, I'd be stalker chant. First of all, you are definitely pulling off the Stocker Channing look yeah. and the hair, but that, that that wig is incredible. Yeah, I mean, it's so funny because I we didn't get a script until a couple days before our first day of rehearsal. And it is a new script. Yeah. It's like a new script it's a new combining script. sort of the movie and the Broadway, yeah. Yeah, and some new stuff, just like developing things a bit more yeah. and just like allowing every character ha to have like its own exploration and growth. Nice. Um, so yeah, there's a lot that's explored that hasn't been before. But um, I was nervous because it's such an iconic part. And we're going in to do a promo shoot. And I'm like, I haven't even read a freaking script. Like, right. <laughs> this is not OK. Yeah. Um, and I try on my clothes. And then they throw the wig on me. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I got nothing to worry about. You saw like, it. I'm going to be fine. <laughs> I'll be OK. <laughs> you know? Like, it just it changed my demeanor completely. Like, all of a sudden, there was just this swagger to my walk that I have never had before. I was like, oh, hey, Elizabeth. <laughs> I'm like, you're looking like an old school movie star. I loved it. <laughs> Are you going to be leaning up against the school, singing the song, holding the... I, I love the, mm -hmm. the visual of that. It's so great. And this, yeah. it's funny because the school, I learned about the history a little bit of that lot, right? Mm -hmm. And like Rideau High is like currently on Pretty Little Liars. I think it was in okay. the Music Man movie, apparently. Apparently, that's what I heard. I don't know. I love them. I was in yeah, the music Yeah, there's history. Band. Oh my God, there's history there's in that There's so lot. much history on all of the lots. I mean, like, same with theater. Like, there's yeah. so much history yeah, exactly. in all of the theaters. It's just like, it's really cool to just sit and like touch and mm -hmm. imagine what had happened before you. Did, um, how are the, how is the cast bonding? I, I know there's like movie nights and stuff. What's happening out there? <laughs> um, we love each other way too much. Yeah. We're all like hanging onto each other all the time. Like there was literally one day where I just went from like person to person, like just being held by someone and then like walking a second and then being held by someone else and then walking around being held by someone else. It was just like so much love. So much love. There's so <laughs> much love. I, I love everyone so much. This cast is just very, very special. Yeah, so what are you going to do after January 31st? It's going to be so sad. Cry. <laughs> Cry and Lay watch down. Grease Live. How do you describe it on the stage? And yeah, starfish. 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 Starfish in the middle of Rydell High and yeah. just sob. Yep. It might happen. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Or I might just be happy we got through it. Yeah. And yeah. You, now, now, you did Rent with Aaron Tveit mm -hmm. at the Hollywood Bowl, which is yeah. awesome. And yeah. that was like sort of the first time that we were like, oh, look at Vanessa Hudgens. She's going to do this Broadway thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> like flirting with the Broadway thing. And I know you did like all kinds of musical theater yeah. growing up. Yeah. I'll talk about that a little bit because, well, I saw you on The Tonight Show. They showed that hilarious photo of you. Um, the Hunchback, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hunchback, oh, no, you were like, uh -huh. you were the Hunchback. I was the Hunchback you were, you and the Hunchback in Notre Dame, yeah. And you did, so talk about some of the other shows you did because I love hearing like what, <laughs> and you also said, but you said that you did community theater, the kind of community theater you had to pay to be in. Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. You have to pay? Yeah, you had to pay like $50 to be a part of the production and it would help like pay the theater and oh, like wow. the costumes. Um, <laughs> I don't know. But Your I wanted to do enough. it so badly, you know, that like my parents were like, okay, like what can you you do like right. community theater pay 50 right. bucks you're on a show um <laughs> i yeah i started off doing like really really tiny little parts like okay. ensemble or uh -huh. like 
Indian number four. Okay. That sounds roll. so racist. <laughs> <laughs> it was Pocahontas, okay? Oh, okay. Um, right. And then my part started getting bigger. I played like Sebastian in The Little Mermaid. Wow, there's, there's and I was like eight years old going like, under the sea. Like, I tried to have a Jamaican accent. You play a lot of guys. <laughs> I play a lot of guys. Just the guys. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? It was before I blossomed into a young woman. Um, no, yeah, it was so weird. And then like my first big part was at the Old Globe Theater, um, before they even did the movie, The Grinch That Stole Christmas. Oh. Um, with Jack O'Brien. Yeah, yeah. I was like the original Cindy Lou Who. I didn't know you were the original Cindy Lou Who. That's huge. I was the original Cindy Lou Who, yeah. That should be in your bio. <laughs> <laughs> the original the Cindy Lou Who. The original Cindy Lou Who. <laughs> I know. Um, so yeah, that was like my first, first big, big part. And then I started being swept away by Movies. cameras. Cameras. Yeah. Yeah, and so it's crazy. This is like the 10th anniversary. I know you, you filmed like the 10th anniversary of the reunion of yeah. uh, High School Musical. Your life changed like overnight. Is that fair to say? That Pretty fair to say when you look at like what a life means. Right, yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm like, it wasn't literally like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you but know. But I remember the... Crazed the like the craziness of when that movie came out, yeah. And the, and the fans, did you immediately like experience like walking down the street being recognized? I mean, and like those, those yeah, kids. it happened quite rapidly. Yeah, yeah, it was just the craziest thing because it went from like living a completely normal life to then like being yelled at by mothers if you didn't take a photo with them for <laughs> their, their children. You know, like it, it was crazy and very strange uh -huh. and sometimes terrifying yeah. if you're like in public places right. and people know you're there. I remember traveling to Brazil and like the fans are so passionate yeah. but I remember like being pulled on because people are just trying to like touch you you yeah. know you're just like what is happening right. there were moments where we were like this is what the Beatles felt yeah, you know like it was just such a crazy thing. It feels like a different life. You seem so good at it. I don't know if you've gotten good <laughs> at it, but I, I actually encountered, I was looking up, I was on YouTube. I was actually looking at your rent clips. I was like, I was watching, I was oh like, you gosh. know, looking you up. And I saw like a uh, like paparazzi video of you arriving at the airport like mm -hmm. a couple days ago. Yeah. And like, that's just, that's just so, that's just part of your life. And you're with Carlos, you're Kaniki, Carlos. Vega. And it's funny, like, watching him react to it, too. <laughs> I know. It's so funny. He kills me. <laughs> but you're just me. used to it, right? Like, you're going to be waiting for your bag. Yeah, and this guy's like, going to be shooting, yelling, yelling questions yeah, at you. Yeah, I'm like, my, my thing is I don't give him anything. I don't need to be in tabloid magazines. Like, I want to yeah. be respected for what I'm doing. Right. Like, what matters to me is, like, the art, you know? Mm -hmm. And, like, leaving behind something that can inspire people. It's not about, like, what I'm wearing. Mm. Even though I love dressing up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's conflicting. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it just kind of became a part of life. But, I mean, it's been 10 years since High School yeah. Musical hit. And um, things have mellowed out a bit, which I'm very grateful for. Yeah. Yeah. I think because I had it so intensely mm. in that period of my life, nothing will feel as crazy. Mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Gigi. Let's talk about Gigi. Okay. I loved you in Gigi. Oh, and I you did. You won the Broadway Come Audience Choice Award. I know. It's so performance. amazing. Um, and totally deserved it. it. It was so exciting when it was first announced that you were doing it. <laughs> and, that, and, I, and then I thought like, wow, what a huge role you know what I mean like what a big oh my gosh and yeah. it was you above the title and it's all, it was all about you and the whole thing was just like pinch me please because I mean I I my manager let me know that they were doing it and I was like are you sure because like I don't see any like half Filipinos running around mm. Paris in the 1900s <laughs> like I'm not sure I fit the bill Little do I forget, I'm a chameleon. Like, I changed uh -huh. drastically from project to project. Um, and he said, just go in. You know, they're actually really interested. So I flew to New York and sang I Don't Understand the Parisians and did, like, young Gigi scene, uh -huh. sheen, <laughs> young Gigi <laughs> scene, and adult Gigi scene. And um, they called me, like, two hours later and told me that they wanted me to do it. And it was literally that moment where I was in the car on the way to the airport, just, like, screaming in the backseat, like, calling my mom, calling my sister, calling my dad, my boyfriend, just like, oh, my God, <laughs> I got it! I'm going to be on Broadway! You know, like, it's been such a long dream of mine yeah. to see it come into fruition. I was just like, 
I can't believe it. And then rehearsing was so much fun. Like, yeah. I love the rehearsal process. I love creating something. I love working hard. I love having structure. Yeah. Um, but then we get to the theater, and I see my name above the banner, and I'm just like, this is real. Like, I get emotional still thinking about it. Like, that's just such a special thing. And like to do Gigi and play the part that Audrey Hepburn did years ago and to stand in front of the marquee and like take a picture that she did that was so iconic. It was yeah. just, You're getting teary on it. I am. I just, I love it. It's just so special. It's so special. Yeah. Um, and as someone who clearly, you always look gorgeous and you're very into like fashion and style. Yeah. And that was a beautiful production. Ugh. I mean, you got to literally, they dropped. It was so beautiful. Yeah, I mean, the sets and the costumes and the. I Catherine mean, Zuber is just like she's, she's, sheer she's genius. She's genius. She's, yeah. she's so talented. Well, did you like collaborate with her? Like, was it fun to like what, like to. I mean, it was amazing seeing like drawings into yeah. actual clothes. Yeah. Um, yeah. But she's so funny because, I mean, it's the period. They have, like, these amazing silhouettes with these long trains and, like, yeah. cinched waists. But she would make these trains that are so long that we're like, Kathy, we can't, we can't dance in this. <laughs> like, I've, I've got to dance, like, partner dance, you know? Like, right. I don't think this massive train is going to work when we're trying to waltz, you know? Right, right. Um, so it was like fun, like figuring out the balance between like practical and yeah. exaggerated. Yeah, yeah, um, tour on Broadway. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Catherine Super. <laughs> but it was just um, so much fun. That Corey Cott, we I know. love. I love I Corey love Cott, him. and he was so wonderful in the show too. I miss him. He said you guys had a, like immediately had like a brother sister great like connection. Totally. And there's a lot of like shenanigans. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, that's what a brother and sister do. Yeah. 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 He's being grumpy. I would definitely give him hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we just had so much fun. I mean, like, it's just nice when you work with people who are striving for excellence. Because mm. then you're both passionate about what you're doing, and you're going to do everything you can to make your performance the best and to help everyone around you be the best because, like, you're a reflection of the people you're around as well. So, like, you just want to raise the bar and... Right. Just be the greatest you can be. Right. But um, we, we had a lot of fun. There was definitely a lot of, like, nights after the shows eating pasta, you know? <laughs> As you do on Broadway. As you do on – because you can. <laughs> I lost so much weight when I was on Broadway. Really? Yeah, when I was doing the show, I, I wasn't working out. I wasn't that conscious of what I was eating. But oh. I guess just – the grind of doing eight shows a week, it makes you lose weight like crazy. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't even working out, and I stepped on a scale one day, and I was like, <laughs> how is that possible? <laughs> like, I'm fading away. <laughs> Didn't mean to in the slightest. just happened. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so do you think you'll come back to Broadway? 150%. I mean, okay. okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Like, I can't wait until I do. Okay. I will definitely be back. Okay. Yeah. So I want to get like a few movies under my belt, yeah, of maybe course. a TV show, do okay. something in front of the camera, and then come back. Okay, all right, I'm gonna hold you to that. Um, so, what's the scariest thing about going live? I mean, or is, or is live not really scary for like theater people? I live mean, TV. live can be scary for sure. I'm like one of those weirdos that even on my opening night, I didn't get nervous. I, yeah. I live to be in front of a, an audience. Like uh -huh. that's when I thrive. I'm like a performer. You give me an audience, and I'm just gonna like come alive you know like I feel like that's where I found myself as a kid on the stage I was very shy growing up and I would set foot on stage hide behind a character and just be the most alive mm. even my parents had seen me you know yeah. like that's where I thrive so it makes me feel good like I look forward to it so you're not gonna be thinking about the millions of people no because I can't see them Right. <laughs> they see me, but I don't the see them. Just yeah. that guy and, the, and you know, all your friends on the set. Yeah. That's what's so crazy about it. It's just the it. lens. <laughs> <laughs> so you sing the song. I, I sing There Are Worst Things You Can Do in, in, in the Shower all the time. That's amazing. It, are you living with it? Are you like, li or are you just um, kind of... I well, mean, you also get to do that I with know me on it. Sandra Day. Hello. I know, You're I so know. Mean. I, so mean. <laughs> she's so mean. That's the thing that I've had to like come to terms with, being honestly, mean. the most is being mean yeah. because... I'm a bubbly, nice person. Uh -huh. Like, I, I definitely am blunt and speak my mind. Yeah. 
but it's layered by like nice right. and bubbles, <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's such an amazing song, and I've like worked on it with my vocal coach, Eric Vitro, for so many months now okay. that it's just like second nature. And the thing that I love about our version is we kind of have developed Rizzo and Sandy's relationship a bit more. Mm. Because, you know, it's like yeah. they're, they're two ladies. Like, yeah. you want them to have something yeah. more. Yeah. Um, so we have a scene together before that song, and it just sets oh, nice. it up so miraculously. Like, I go into that song, and it's just like, you just feel so much, and I love it. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, I love it too. I, I'm it's really just such a fun song to sing too. Yeah. Like it's perfect in my voice. Yeah, I just love belting it out. And, and there's gonna be an album too, right? Yes, there is an album. an album. We recorded a cast album. I just heard the recording of Boys to Men singing Beauty School Dropout. How's that? <sighs> <laughs> it's re. Ridiculous. I kept getting chills. Like, I got wow. chills probably five times. Wow. Because it's just like they're these classic songs that you know and you love yeah. so much. And so to have someone like Boys to Men yeah. come in and put their spin on it when they have such a strong sense of their individuality, it's just yeah. like mind blowing. Yeah. And Jessie J, like, oh, I sat the in the studio when she was recording and I was just like, I, I, she, her vocal freedom, I am so envious mm, of because wow. she just like opens up and her riffs are so clean. Everything is so clean. Mm -hmm. It's just, ugh, so good. I can't wait. <laughs> I seriously can't wait. Um, I can't wait too. I'm just very excited to watch it. Yeah. You, and do it, of course. You're but. excited to do a DVR and go home and watch it. Exactly. Yeah. The next, maybe the next morning. You might be out late that night. Yeah. It might be a long. It might be a whole next day full of <laughs> Grace Live. Of saying goodbye to your It's February cast. 1st all day. <laughs> Just like watching it. Like, oh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Kiki, I miss you already. <laughs> Well, thank happen. you so much for coming. Thank it's you. such a delight to see you. I can't wait to see you back on Broadway. Please. Me too. I can't Good. wait. Good. And everyone <laughs> needs to check out Grease Live. It's on January 31st at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's going to be really incredible. It's going to be the party you are not going to want to miss. It will absolutely be the party you're not going to want to miss. Thank you so much, <laughs> thank Vanessa. You. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.